Hello and welcome to today's nugget of knowledge. My name is Sienna. I'm a mental performance consultant from Galway, Ireland. And today's nugget of knowledge is how to overcome mistakes using a simple two-step reset. Before we get into how to overcome mistakes, first, there's two things that we want to know. One, mistakes will happen. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, there has been a day and there will be a day that you make a mistake in sport, in work, in school, in life, in personal relationships, mistakes will happen. Number two is that one mistake will never ruin your entire performance, but the inability to overcome one mistake might. And I am going to use my canned light red kidney beans to demonstrate how this happens. So let's say you're playing a football game and you misplace a pass. So you've made one mistake. Then you go on into the next play and you're thinking about that pass that you've misplaced. So then the next ball comes and you're not fully focused on getting that next ball. You're still thinking about the mistake that you've just made. So then you fumble the ball and you make another mistake. And then a few minutes pass, you're a little bit frustrated about the mistakes that you've made and you make another mistake. So you can see that the mistakes are starting to stack up. So instead of being able to move on from one, we've let them build up, probably building frustration, and it's impacting our game more and more as the game goes on. And it gets to a point that we're so frustrated that it's probably having a big impact. And when we try and overcome all these mistakes at once, it's really challenging. But if we can learn to overcome one mistake at a time, then we can move on after we make a mistake and put our full focus into what is gonna help us going into the next play. So let's get to it. What is the two step simple reset that you can use? So you make a mistake. The first step is to ask yourself, is there anything I can do about this right now? And the answer is always no, because the mistake is in the past. So you can't fix it, it's happened. So you ask yourself, is there anything I can do about this right now? And the answer is no. Step two is to include a physical or verbal cue to signify that that has happened and that's in the past. And now I'm ready to move on. So for example, a physical cue for me when I'm playing handball is to pull up my gloves and to readjust my goggles. So a physical cue playing Gaelic football might be to readjust your socks or to tie your laces tighter. So that's just a simple way to signify that what has happened has happened and now I'm moving on. A verbal cue could be uh, an instruction like focus on the next one, get out in front, move your feet. And this reset doesn't mean you're not going to make any more mistakes. It just means that you'll make a mistake and then you're able to move on from that mistake. And then you'll probably make a mistake at some other point during your performance, but it doesn't seem as big of a deal because you've left that other mistake where it is in the past. So then you can just focus on moving on from this one mistake and you can keep doing that. And this way, it doesn't mean that mistakes aren't going to happen because they are. We're all human and we will make human error. It just means that we can move on from one mistake at a time and that way it won't have as big of an impact on our performance. So there you have it, your two-step reset to help you overcome mistakes. First, ask yourself, is there anything I can do about this? And remember, the answer is always no. Second, have your physical and verbal cue prepared so that you know that you can move on from mistakes when they do happen. And lastly, but most importantly, don't forget to hit like and subscribe on this channel, on this video, and I will see you in the next one.